How's it going YouTube? It's Iron Phoenix again here and I wanted to make a new video on how to use the add-on power auras here in uh, Alloys Online. We're on the Smuggler's Paradise uh, server. Uh, I've had a, a couple of requests on how to use a uh, buff add-on to track buffs and such and that's what this add-on is. It's called Power Auras. First off, if you have this installed on your um, on your game, you'll have either a button on your screen somewhere that has P Auras or it'll, if you have the um, the uh, AO add-on, um, I think it's called uh, Panel Mod or something like that, which is uh, the bar that I have up here at the top, it'll actually be on the bar itself. Some of the add-ons in the game are compatible with the bar, and it'll put uh, buttons on there instead. So, Anyways, I have these uh, already set up on here, but I'm going to kind of show you how to do it anyways. I'm going to try to make the video as short as possible and try to get to the point real quick. Um... These are the five buffs that I like to track on the maze, Star Shower, Shock and Grass, Synergy, Rapid Sorcery, and uh, Harmony. Uh, first of all, let me show you how they work. You'll see that I have uh, four, four of the buffs up. And there should be a, uh, the fifth one here in a bit. I'm going uh, to see if I can get it to pop. Uh, it looks like the other one's going to disappear before it will. There it is. Anyways, um, that's pretty much how the buffs look, and I'm going to show you how to set them up. You can uh, you can put them anywhere on your screen that you want. This is just what I prefer. I like to keep the two most important ones that I'm uh, I'm tracking on the bottom in big uh, in big in big icons, and then I like to track three three uh, less important ones at the top of my character. I don't like to put them all at the bottom, all at the top, because it kind of gets cluttered. But uh, let's let's get right into it. First of all, you'll notice that I had all the icons on here, and I didn't have it when I uh, when I first popped this up, and that's because I just used the skills. Let me go ahead and delete all of these, and I'm going to reset them back up for you guys and show you how to do this. Okay, first of all, you click on the button and pull the um, the interface up here, and you click on the new button, and you'll see that it has an empty uh, buff here, and it uh, has a little countdown timer. This is just like a placement. To show you, um, to show you kind of what's what's going on. So the first one I want to track is going to be my star shower uh, buff, and it is actually a debuff. They consider it a debuff in this game, and it's going to be on my target. And uh, once you select where where it's going to, well, if it's a buff or debuff, and whether it's on yourself or it's on your pet or on your target, and you click on this little arrow right here. And it's going to pop up a little uh, database of all the different skills. Uh, first of all, I want to mention that if you're, um, if the the buff or debuff or whatever you're trying to track is not in this list, you have to use the skill. And then when you use the skill, it'll actually save it into a little database and it'll show up here. So just use all the different skills that you want to track first before you even start using this. And then it'll have it all in the little database. Uh, so the first one I want... It's going to be uh, Star Shower. It's down here on the list, but you can always just search for it if you want to get it real quick. And then I'm going to hit my Star Shower here. And this next screen, you can change any of the settings here if you wish to do so. There's a lot of different settings you can change, but I don't mess with any of this. I'm, I'll go to the next screen. And uh, I don't like the... I don't have any buffs that go longer than um, about 30 seconds or so. So there's really no reason for me to have the minutes on, uh, which you'll see here over the zero. So I, I delete the minutes off and make it just seconds and milliseconds. You can actually take the milliseconds off if you want. Just delete the F here and it'll be just seconds. But I like to leave the uh, milliseconds on there just so I can be a little bit more precise on when I know exactly when it's going to go off. And then your X and Y axis is going to change where the position is of the buff on your screen. You'll notice that once I uh, once I typed in star shower, I now have the star shower icon on here. So uh, X is going to change the position from left to right, and Y will change the position from up and down. So uh, I already know exactly where I want to have these on my screen, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. It, you might have to play around with it to figure out exactly where you want to put them and what size you want to use. But I like my star shower to be at 738. 
and 700 for the y for the y axis and then I also like it to be bigger than 50 so I set it to 75 by 75 and then once you set it the way you want it you can also change the uh, uh, opacity if you want I believe that's how it's pronounced uh, depending on how much transparency you want if you want it to not show all the way I like to run mine at one I don't mess with that and then you, when you get it the way you want it you just hit the save button here uh, the next buff I want to track is going to be shock and grasp type the name that you want to call it here this is only this uh, here is only what shows up in the list. You can name it anything you want. You don't have to name it the same in the skill, but I like to name it the same as the buffer skill that I'm going to be tracking so that uh, it's easier for me to find in the list if I need to edit it. Um, Shocking Grass, I believe, is also a debuff, and it's going to be on the target. And we're going to search for it here. Shocking. Right here at the top. Select it. Go to the next uh, one. Next one. I'm going to delete the minutes off again. And then I like my shocking grass to be right beside my star shire, right here underneath my character on the right hand side, which happens to be at 828 by 700. And I want it to be 75 also, 75 by 75, and at the regular uh, no transparency at all. And then I hit the save button. And just to demonstrate it real quick, I'll show you guys what it looks like. My star shire there, and then the shocking grass. So now I've got both of my buffs. It has, so it's the same cooldown as it shows up at the top on your buffs, on the uh, target's uh, buffs anyways. So now that I have those, I want to do the next one I want to do is going to be uh, Rapid Sorcery. And that is going to be a buff on myself, not on the target type in rapid get rapid sorcery here oops I'm gonna redo it my bad getting too much of a rush and I clicked it too quick buff on myself rapid sorcery click the next button next button again remove the minutes and I want this one to be a smaller buff up above my character so this one's going to be at 750 by 375 and I'm going to leave it at 50 hit the save button here the next one I want to track is going to be my synergy buff and that's going to be a buff on myself again Click on that. Two to the right. Remove the minutes. I like this one to be at um, 800 by 325. Hit the save. And then the last one I like to track is going to be Harmony, which is another buff that I get. That uh, gives me an instant cast and uh, free. Uh, well, it's not, not. I don't mean instant cast. I mean a free uh, comet that doesn't cost any resources to fire off. And that is also going to be buff on me. Click on harmony. Two to the right. Move the seconds again. And I like this one to be at 850 by 375 and I like to stay at 50 and hit the save button and you'll see I have all five of my buffs here and let me show you guys how what it looks like there you go and I should get the uh, the free resource uh, harmony here in a bit there it is and that was all five of the buffs so that's pretty much it it's really simple to use it's just kinda of complicated if you've never done it before especially if you if you first click on this power auras and you're trying to add buffs and none of your buffs are showing up is because you haven't used them since you installed the add-on 
as long as you install the add-on and use all the different skills, any of them will show up. You can track any buffs. You can even, um, if you're not using the add-on for doing uh, for tracking your uh, trinket, when your trinket procs, you can um, you can find out the exact name of the trinket uh, when it pops on your uh, character, and you can tra track your trinket whenever it procs also. So there's all kind of different things you can do with it. I hope you guys find this video useful, and if you do, Please like and subscribe, share the video, and until next time, I'll see you in the next video.